Did you have a sense that, like, the teachers really cared for you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's the one thing that was great about Ada Jenkins and, and the teachers. Um, because Ada itself, as far as the staff from the, from the principal, never forgetting Mr. Harris, um, they were real strong on academics. And teachers really took an interest to make sure that you, you did learn. Um, kind of like um, in relation to the what they call it now, no kid left behind. Um, it was with the with the student. It was like no student is going to leave my classroom not knowing or being prepared for their next grade. Yeah. So the staff and the, and the teachers itself they took a really a real interest in. And all the students, you know, we had a lot of, a lot of one-on-one -on -one with the with the teachers if we really needed it, and a lot of them would stay after school and make sure that you got extra attention if you needed it, because they were just determined that you know you're not going to fail, yeah. you're not going to fail. Um, And also kind of, you know, make sure, you know, it had you with discipline, respect for other students, and of course, seniors, your adults. You never disrespected an adult. Um, and, and believe it or not, there's there wasn't, like it is today, um, bullying in school because you were you were taught that you know you can respect yeah everybody you know it's interesting how that um, like social dynamic has changed so much these it, days it, it is it really I wonder is. why I, I don't like, either the teachers still enforce it but maybe there's too many students well you know I, I guess you know we got technology now that that wasn't yeah, available true. then and I won't say that's a bad thing it's a good thing that people just use it in a bad way mm -hmm. but uh, you know during, during my time going here at Aiden you know we very rarely had any incidents where you know you had a student bullying someone or yeah. a couple of students and it just wasn't tolerated So then it was like, it was fun going to school. I mean, you wanted to go to school because, you know, this is where all your friends were. Um, and besides, many of our teachers lived in the neighborhood, lived in the community. So <laughs> that was an added incentive for you not to get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> because they had this, you know, like they had this personal contact with your parents every they day on a daily family. basis. So, yeah. you know. Couldn't afford to do anything. <laughs> do anything. All eyes were on you. Yeah. And, you know, and, and that was great. And you know, you know, you know, looking back, I think that you know prepared us, you know, for for life. Yeah. You know, it really did, because you know you learn respect for others, um, and they made sure you strive to be the best that you could be. You know, both mm -hmm. academically, socially. So that was kind of. The way Ada was during that time. It was really like well rounded. Yeah, rare, well wasn't rounded. Just about yeah. The stuff. Yeah, and. Um, this kind of goes along with the stories you've been telling me, but just like what are some of your fondest memories of the school? Hmm. Um, One of my fond memories. <laughs> uh. I used to sing, sing in the glee club. Oh, really? But yeah. Can't sing, but, you know, we tried. <laughs> I tried, at least anyway. Was it big at the school? Um, 
Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, Who did you guys perform for? Huh? Who did you perform for? Well, mostly for your parents. You know. You know, they had these occasions where the Greek, you know, parents would come and you would sing. Um, and, and the big thing was a, one of our big social events where we have like an eighth grade dance. That's where you, you know, you got to like dress up and dance. And it's kind of like, it was kind of like um, what's the senior prom is in the high school. Yeah. yeah it's, it was, it was kind, of that, kind of a social event. So that was pretty cool. And um, the the basketball games that uh, we would have against the uh, I guess we would be the junior high students from Torrance Lytle High School. We would have intramural where we play basketball and compete against the high school. And you play basketball too? Yeah, play a little. And a lot of that happened after school? This was like all It was kind of like activities. maybe around the, the latter part of the school day. It, was, it wasn't like an everyday thing, um, just on special occasions where, you know, that had, we would. They would uh, be bused from Torrance Lytle, which is in Huntersville, up to here, and uh, we competed with them, I guess, them in basketball. No, I was just thinking, you know. <laughs> Did the community as a whole go through any significant changes during your childhood? I mean, segregation is a big one. Well, of course, segregation was one of them. That was a big change. Um, and, of course, when they finally closed this school, as you know, they did a lot of the uh, African American schools during going from segregation to integration. So, yeah. so that was, you know, that was a big change because, you know, we, this something that, you know, uh, my kids did experience. And, um, And for, you know, and not only did it affect this community, but it affected the whole town. And, you know, it's when they built Lake Norman. You know, that, that changed the community quite a bit. So oh, that, was a, that was a big significant, that was a significant change. That was kind of late on in my, in teen years.